rolling down the interstate, got the kayak loaded up. I'm going about 45 minutes from my house. I am on a uh, exploration scouting mission on a section, a lower section of a creek that I've never fished this section. Stopped by yesterday, just kind of out driving around and the water looks really nice and clear. And the thing about, the really interesting thing about this creek is that it flows into the Tennessee River right below Chickamauga Dam and the possibility of anything could be in here. I'm bringing a uh, array of fishing rods from my light to heavy, or like medium heavy. So I'm bringing a little bit of everything, just trying to find any kind of fish I can find and see what's in here. Here we go. Let's fish. Hey, we're on the board. 20 minutes out. Not too bad, I guess, for our first fish. Pretty spotted bass. One bite, one fish. Just a little spotted bass. But we're just making our way down towards the river. I think we'll get down there. I don't think it's too far to go, but yeah, this water is super beautiful. Just a slow flow to it. So obviously we didn't get the desired outcome in the fish we wanted. But a good thing is we brought some good snacks so I can pedal back up. Jeff's famous, oh, we got some bacon jerky and some beef jerky. Uh, of course, a little Doritos, one of my favorites, a spicy sweet chili, can't get it out. We got Mountain Dew and we got a water if we really need to get desperate. Old fashioned original, I like that flavor. I, uh, I got a few of these sent to me and I ate, um, uh, sweet teriyaki, I think it was the first bag I opened. I already ate all those. This beef jerky is a little softer, and I like that. It's softer and more moist than like a lot of the hard ones. So I got a few flavors to try, but uh, I got to. So I got to pedal back upstream. And this isn't a waste of time, though. I, and it's a place that I'm pretty sure I will come back and explore. Maybe not like soon. So we might have time to hit another place today. If not, I'm probably gonna go to one tomorrow. But right now, okay. I'm gonna do some snagging and some pedaling. Part two, I'm back. This is the next day and me and Patrick have decided that we're gonna float uh, a part of the river, six miles on the Hawassi River. I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, so let's just get right into it. Hopefully we can find some fish cause I gotta, I gotta do better than I did yesterday. So I was supposed to do, um, pictures with our basketball team today that's why i couldn't get here till later so they first they told me um nine o'clock i go in they tell me come back at 10. i go back in at 10 they tell me it ain't gonna start till 10 45. so i left i'm like i'm not staying i was like i already had something else planned Oh, it is a fish. I didn't know I had a fish or not. Solid little bass. I thought I was stuck on the bottom for a second. Yeah! I knew it was going to be a good day. As a keeper. 
Number one, starting out pretty solid. Let's see how long it is. 15 inches. I'll take that. That's solid. So, number one, 15 inches. 12 minutes in, too. That's even better. <laughs> Good spotted bass. I'll take that guy. Nice spotted bass. Second fish on the Yum Swimming Dinger, five inch in black. Thump, this one thumped it. I felt him hit it good. 15 and three quarters. See a fat little guy. A couple 15 inches to start it off. That guy is really healthy. Nice. We'll take those. That's a good bass. We've only been out about 30 minutes. I can still see the ramp, two fish. I'm happy with that. in between fish third with a little large mouth he's a little roughed up on that side 13 inch 12 12 and three quarters oh 12 and three quarters third one He was uh, about the size of the one that I caught earlier. You got one? No. I thought I did. Killing me over here. Well, I didn't have the camera on for the last one, but that was, that was a fourth I've hooked, but I didn't get him in all the way. And he's probably 13, 14 inches. Hmm. This up here. Or that right there. Oh yeah, we're on them now. This wall's got some fish. Whoa, look at this fat spotted bass. All right, well this is my fourth that I've landed. We went about, uh, I caught my first two like 45 minutes. We went like three hours out of bite. We've come across this next stretch. I've caught two and then um, missed one. So it looks really good down through here. Hopefully we can get a couple more and we only got, we got to have a real far before we get back. Here we go. Oh, it's a good one. There's that good one I needed. It's got a, it's got a lamprey on it. Yeah. If this was a tournament, man, this would be the nice one to get. Boom. That's worth it right there. 18 inch. This thing is thick. Um, you can see on top of his head, it had a lamprey stuck to his head and uh, i must have fell off when i picked it out of the water they'll do that whenever the fish start fighting or or coming out they'll kind of they'll release themselves but they leave that suction mark there so 18 inch large mouth right here towards the end of the day i've caught all my fish on this setup i've thrown other things but nothing else seemed to work a five inch black Yum, uh, swimming dinger, one eighth ounce jig head, owner jig head, 
and this is the Cash King uh, inshore rod, seven foot, medium, heavy, just like basically a regular bass rod. And um, I usually don't use a little, I usually use medium. I like to use a medium a lot, but this one just feels light and it feels great. And these fish have been strong and, they, and I, they've been down deep. So when I set the hook, I want to take up all that slack really quick and get a good hook set. And it's worked, I've only lost one, but I've had four bites in like the last uh, 25 minutes here. So all of a sudden, there's just like a, I'm getting some good hits. All right, let's go over here and hit that creek. Oh my, dude, I got hammered by something. Oh, I got it, I got one. It's a white bass. Oh, that's what it was. Dude, I just missed something. It was probably a white bass that just hammered. I started throwing this little lipless around over here in the uh, creek channel. It's a little murky. And I keep looking for these white bass to show up. First one I've got this year out of this area, or out of the Hawassi. And uh, it's a pretty good one. Something earlier just just throttled my lipless. It felt like a bigger, a lot bigger one, but it could have been just one coming in and attacking it real hard. Nice white bass. Should I save it for catfish bait? Ah, I wonder if I should save it for catfish bait. No, nah, probably not right now. Uh, every time I do save, I never catch anything with it. But hey, little white bass. Sun's going down over there. I think the fish are starting to get more active. I guess that happens a lot. It's pretty common, but um, and it's definitely paying off right now. Oh yeah. Oh man! Is that a white bass? I think it's fighting. Oh, it is. Nice. Fat one. So there's a couple of white bass hanging around this mouth of the creek. These things put up a fight. Boat going by. We got probably a mile or less back to the ramp, but if we start getting into some fish, we might just stay here and then paddle back really quick. Two white bass. <laughs> yep. Well, get over here and fish. Throw something. I'm like just kind of changing up the speeds. Number three. That's nice. Ooh. Dude, this turned out to be a crazy good day. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture of I'll get a picture if I get a big one. It's kind of yo yo in it. I think that's how you can do a lip lift, like up and down. Well, that's a solid one there. I think these are probably the females, the bigger ones. Moving up first. That's what I've heard. And seems to be what happens. Then the little ones will move up, and the little males, and they can be real small. But these females, usually pretty fun to catch and pretty good slabs. What you doing? Hey, no, we definitely need to go down the Conestoga. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how deep it was. Yeah, there's one more. <laughs> oh man. I love how hard these things fight. Oh, it's a skipjack. 
It's a skipjack on a lipless. What? It's a solid skipjack too. Well, I do like my diversity. That is a solid skipjack. We're, we're about to move on down and uh, hook him. They go after little minnows too. I would, well, I would keep him, but he's gonna get everything all slimy probably. Nah, I wouldn't. All right, we'll throw him back. Chris might be mad, but too bad. Well, I'm glad Patrick got to come out and help me catch fish because that's what the, the problem was. Yesterday he wasn't here, that's why I didn't catch anything. It's amazing the difference one day or the other. I fished the same amount, I probably fished more hours yesterday than I did today, but caught way more fish today, as you can see. And yesterday I just could not figure them out. But um, I've been exploring this river right here, Hawassi. I've never been through that section and I've lived here for seven or eight years and I've never been through that section. And it was a nice little six mile float, actually a great little fishing area, which I'll probably do some more, especially as them white bass keep moving in. Uh, hopefully get on them. It was, it was really good to see those. It was really good to get some um, good spotted bass and some good largemouth bass. Just a really good day of fishing overall. Appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching.